Everyone has that song. That song that reminds you of something painful that happened in your past, and no matter how many times you hear it or how long it goes between times that you hear it, you still feel that pain. It could be a song that has lyrics that really hit home for you, or you could have heard it during a very traumatic or heartbreaking event, and that's all that it reminds you of. It could be a song about a previous relationship, and during the relationship, the song was amazing and awesome, and it gave you so many good feels, but then after the relationship ended, all you can think about is that poison. Earlier I was driving home from work, and I think there's some sort of masochistic part of me that always puts a very deep or heart-wrenching song on almost every CD I ever make, and the song came on. Everyone knows that feeling when the song comes on. You don't know if you should skip the song or if you should just listen to it and see if you feel any better, but you never really do. But I kept it playing, and I started immersing myself in the lyrics, and I was just singing along with it, and it just, it was enveloping everything in my head. I felt like I was laying down on the ground and there were concrete blocks piling up on top of my chest. That feeling where you try to breathe in but you can't really because your stomach is kind of pushing in and there's that pressure. The song was in my head and it was bringing up all of these emotions. Joy because of the relationship and pain because it ended and it was like this cycle spinning around in my head and I didn't know which feeling to land on. While the song is playing you start thinking of this forlornness of the entire situation. You're so far removed from what happened in the past that you don't even know how you really felt back then. And the song could make you want to cry, and sometimes does. You could feel a gloominess for the rest of the day, some deep depression clouds over top of your head feeling. And it brings up a lot about the uncertainty of your situation today. Did they find someone better than you? Did you find your perfect match and you just messed it up? And you feel these words coming through your speakers, tugging at your heartstrings, which is an interesting turn of phrase because hearts don't have strings, yet you feel them being pulled. And the song could make you feel like you're dwindling away. It could give you some sort of melancholy. It could give you some sort of peace on the past, but it usually doesn't. Low spiritedness, loneliness, all of these emotions you're feeling all at once, just dredging you down. And it makes you think about the past, not in a sorrowful way, but more like a romanticizing the past sort of way. And if that one thing hadn't happened, would things be better now? And while all of these dark emotions are circling around in my head, I think of the character Pat from Silver Linings Playbook. He suffers from a severe trigger due to a song, and when he hears it, he goes crazy. Until Tiffany talks him down, saying, you're gonna go your whole life scared of that song? It's just a song. Don't make it a monster. So I went back to singing the song, and I finished it and I played it again, and I felt a little better. Now I'm curious about you, do you have any songs that make you think of dark or happy things? Music is really interesting in the emotions evoking aspect. So tell me a song that makes you evoke emotion. What the song is, what it makes you think of, how it makes you feel. Anyway, I gotta get off of here and finish packing. I'm going to California in the morning. Oh, that's another thing. If you guys want to, you should. There's a movie that a lot of you probably already know about called Please Subscribe, and it's going to be in theaters one night only on February 5th. And if you're going to see the movie in San Francisco, I'll be there. So yeah. Hit me up. Bye.